Previously on the Pastors Chronicles. Mind control thing really exists among Hollywood. Okay? So the outer the outer layer dispensed senses of victims being electroshocked, hung from a tree, being caged, raped, sometimes with animals, caged, buried alive, and more. From this outside layer, errors point towards the second layer, which contains zodiac signs. According to F. Springmeyer, Zodiac signs are used as a code to assign and file body programs. The center layer surrounding the victim contains words such as hell, devil, blood, and kill, okay, which are shock words used to further traumatize the victim. Now, there's another one called Golden Kabbalah. It uses the same basic layout as the previous image, but replaces scenes of trauma with occult symbols and the central figure with the Kabbalistic tree of life. So this actually explains and makes sense why you always see artists throwing up these occult symbolisms because in mind control, manipulation, dissociation, they either program the symbolisms or program and one of those compartments of the brain, one of those uh, created rooms of personalities, um, or either 
they may not be under mind control. They just down with the agenda. They are part of this uh, the Illuminati Freemasonry, or they just um, they haven't. Some of them haven't decided yet, but they throwing up that they're going to be initiated into it once they sign a contract or give forth some human blood sacrifice. Each one of the Tree of Life's colorful spheres named Sephiroth are used in monarch mind control as compartments to store alter personalities. The outer layer of the work contains the name of each of the ten spheres of the Tree of Life with its associated Hebrew letters. So by overlapping the trauma dispense and it happens with the cold aspects of uh, Golden Kabbalah, we get a rather complete idea of the process of mind control. Welcome to your favorite celebrity, Control to Control You, Chronicles. Welcome back to the Pastors Chronicles. This is part seven and celebrities control to control you. We're going to start these Chronicles off by uh, touching on the personality Judy. Now let's look at Judy. Judy's um, painting. This altar is a teenage girl who is anorexic. Most of her paintings place a heavy emphasis on the concept of duality. You must understand the concept of duality. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna jump from Judy and show you a lot of black and white checkerboards. And once I show you that and break that down to you, you will understand that uh, Kim Noble was a part of Monarch Mind Control. And, and by understanding this, it will give a brief description of what is going on with these celebrities. Now, once you understand the control of the celebrities, it should trigger something in your mind that they are controlled. And if they're controlled, why? What are they trying to do to us? Now, I want you to look at Judy's pictures here. And then once you see Judy's pictures in the activity, and we're going to break down the activity in these pictures. I want you to look at the celebrities, what they're doing in their activities. Now to understand the concept of duality, we're going to take it back to Masonic Lodges and look at these black and white checkerboard um, patterns. And we're going to go from there. So du duality, symbolism. Is what we're looking at to understand the Kim Noble paintings and the uh, mind control of the celebrities. You see, the uh, Masonic checkerboards is one of the most important symbols to the elite in secret society, for it is used in ritual ceremonies. This is used because black and white is a symbol for duality or the base of consciousness. Base consciousness is important because it is where all other states of the mind arise. Personality, I would like to think that checkerboards are also symbols for the celebrities being pawns. Duality patterns such as checkerboards, stripes, or zebras are also commonly used as triggers for the mind controlled slaves in order to reach uh, certain altars. Let's look at some, some celebrities that's involved in this duality. Chorus. 
While you looking at these uh, <clears throat> these um, artists who are either controlled, they are a part of the occult Freemasons, I want to add this: the Illuminati Freemasons use occult symbols on everything they own, which is basically everything. They own the entertainment industry and those who work in it. This is why you see these people. Uh, wearing checkerboard clothes and throwing up symbols because they are owned or they undermine control or they are part of the agenda so they they own the entertainment industry and those who work in it uh, the world's governments most politicians are Freemasons International companies, the United Nations, the Red Cross, World Health Organizations, International Monetary Funds, World Banks. The symbols for duality is black and white, usually represented by the Masonic Freemasons checkered floor. It represents the duality of life, good versus evil. And is used for cross-dimensional travel and communication with devils the rituals performed on the checkered floor involve sacrifice so when you see hey if you made it this far it's because you're interested in this video go ahead and support this channel by clicking that like button and subscribing and hitting that bell uh mtv awards all kind of awards and the people come out the floor is checkerboard or they got on checkerboard clothing basically there's a ritual going on and whether it's in a video or whatever there's a ritual there's something going on in that scene because um it's also the checkerboard is used for cross-dimensional travels and communication with devils the rituals perform these checkerboard floors involve sacrifices and the spilling of blood. Sacrifices open up certain doors called stargates, which are portals, portals or dimensional doorways used by evil spirits to assess our physical world from the spiritual one. Between dimensions, invoking the most powerful demons from spiritual realms, the rituals also include sacrifice to the gods and two fallen angels. Now the black and white also represents altered personalities created through mind control programming. Red and blue is also an occult symbol for duality. The symbol for black mass is black and red. Again, I'm a state that the symbols for black mass is black and red. And believe me, on a lot of things, a lot of celebrities wear black and red on their covers all over the place. But anyway, black represents darkness. Evil and red represents the spilling of blood sacrifice. These colors are used to identify monarch mind control slave. Let's turn our attention to Albert Pike. Albert Pike was a 33rd degree Freemason. And in his books, Morals and Dogma, he said, yes, Lucifer is God. And unfortunately, Adone, which 
God of Christianity. That's what he's saying. It is also God. <clears throat> yes, Lucifer is God, and unfortunately, and unfortunately, Adone, the God of the Christian, is also God. So he's saying it's two gods. You got Lucifer is God and the God of the Christian. That's what he's saying. He said, for the internal law is that there is no light without shade, no beauty without ugliness, no white without black. For the absolute can, all, can only exist as two gods. He said, darkness being necessary to light to serve as its foil as the pedestal is necessary to the statue and the break to the locomotive. The doctrine of Satanism is a hearsay. And the true and pure philosophy, philosophic religion is the belief in Lucifer, the equal of Adone, but Lucifer. Let's continue what Albert Pike said. God of light and God of good is struggling for humanity against Adonai, the God of darkness and evil. Yes, he said Lucifer is equal to God and God is bad and Lucifer is good. Uh, he also said the Masonic religion should be by all of us initiate of the high degrees maintain in the purity of the luciferian doctrine he also said on page 321 lucifer the light bearer strange and mysterious name given to the spirit of darkness lucifer the son of the morning is it he who brings the light doubt it not so if you look at him if you look at all these photos people the black and white this is what they telling you they telling you who they serve they serve lucifer they believe that lucifer is a son in the morning that come to bring light and also these checkerboards represents free illuminati freemasonry and it's dealing with sacrifices blood sacrifices and rituals when you see these things some ritual or something may be taking place or it's a sign that the people that's in it or wearing these checkerboards are under monarch programming. They are under control and they have uh, 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 split personalities been done through going through the trauma to dissociate the brain so the handler can use certain parts of the brain. Why? Remember what we learned in part six of this Chronicles, how the painting from Kim Noble's altar named The Key revealed how the process is several layers that the the victim goes through. Remember that the, the body, if you haven't seen it, go back to part six. There was a, a body in the middle of a box and there's layers and certain basically levels that the brain goes through, trauma, and then after trauma, once it passes the trauma stage and it survives without the person dying and that mind is broken, is shattered and the personality is shattered into several compartments. And they also program certain uh, occult symbolisms and stuff in there. So now they are able to control um, these individuals.
So masons and mystics use the checkerboard, the black and white symbolizing duality, evil and good. Ancient mystics often used a checkerboard pattern in temples and mystery schools, aside from representing the duality of our existence on earth. They also used this symbol as a way to open up portals of energy, which is where you see like uh, awards, you see the black and white checkerboard, there are rituals. And what they're doing, they open up, they opening up portals of spiritual angels fallen angels giving power to them and gaining control over the crowd the masses that's out there watching them and so regardless of the things that they do and the signs that they that they throw up the people in the audience is under the spell of satan this pattern would help create an environment more conductive to connect with knowledge in the higher realms which is fallen angels The checkerboard pattern also ties into numerology. The board is com composed of 64 squares. At 6 plus 4, you get 10. The number 10, which can also be reduced to 1 plus 0 equals 1, is symbolic of energy, power, leadership, and action. Also, 0 is a reminiscent of a circle, a center, a starting point, or a void. So there you have it, people. The black and white is a Freemason uh, entity. And so when you see these artists, they are in this. They are locked in it. They are controlled. They are part of the Brotherhood or uh, a part of the Freemasonry. These are rituals. These things are Satanists. It is demonic. Until the next time, may the Lord bless you and check out Part 8 of Celebrities Control to Control You.